Today we're playing a game called Home Safety Hotline. This game is a horror game, but from the reviews, it's more, it's more, it's more psychological. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Let me go and get my phone. I always wanted to be one of those businesswomen who wears high heels and dark sheer stockings, puts their feet up on the desk and, and speaks on the phone, but hands free while I'm doing my nails. And then someone comes over on the intercom. Mr. Phillips is here to see you. Tell him I'm busy. And tell him I already got a husband and a wife. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder. Your review survive <laughs> supervisor's name is Carol Regina. Oh no. She will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure accuracy. Oh Christ, this is so triggering. Oh, I can't wait for this shit. This is great already. Welcome employee to begin shift, please clock in below. How were we just talking about all this corporate stuff and now we're here? Oh God! A customer. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Ooh. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk soon. Okay. So, oh Jesus, do I go through all of these? Bad bugs! Oh Jesus! John here. My wife insisted I call this number. <laughs> it sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Oh my god, I love him. Okay, I'm gonna put you on hold. Please hold. Um, it sounds like... Oh, there's hold music? Wonderful. Oh, f Uh, specks of dirt? Looks like coffee. Okay, well, it's not bed bugs. Could it be black mold? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, a gopher? Oh, like a gopher. Housefly, house spider, mice, mole, raccoon. These are all animals. I think he's got black mold. Black mold! Have a nice day, John. Have a nice day. We ate that. We ate that! Oh! Sigmund here, just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. So running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. What? Oh, well. Oh. Quit before it's too late. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. We quit today before y'all's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me, no. I'm getting my severance. I'm not quitting. One moment. One moment. You're on line one with HSH. How may I help you? Sorry, I'm, uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry, uh, anything you 
can do to, uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Okay, Twink, one moment. Please hold. Strange clothes. Come and hub. Hello? Common hubs are the most common species of hub found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with grey burlap-like skin and small ver vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Hello? Oh my god. False beat? Huh? What? There's more. I think this is black mold. Let's be real. I think it could be mold. Okay, good day. Joy. Hello, you're on line one with HSH. How may I help? Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like... Oh, I do, I do, robbery. I do. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but... Oh, honey, can I do? When I go look at it, I find the place spotless. It's a hub. I haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. I already know. So here I am. Is there something you can do? I already know, honey, I'm putting you on hold. Please hold. How many hubs are... Okay, so these are the ones that clean... Danger. Hubs are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they are capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. Hubs cannot be compelled to leave their own ones nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving a bowl, a bowl of cream or milk. Okay, that's terrifying. Okay, you got a common hub, baby. Common Why hub. Send it to you now, darling. Have a lovely day! Oh my. We're really learning so much. Hello? Hello? Oh god. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you, if you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe here. Is there space in that hole? My god. HSS Corporate Detention Call Team, our network team is migrating our backend services over to a new hosting provider this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you're on the phone with a client. You will still be expected to provide accurate answers. Oh shit, so we really have to learn everything. Boggarts? Hold on, what? Six foot seven tall and bear fairly convincing false faces. They're known for causing household accidents, flooding fires, electric outages. What? She's dead? They're all gone. It's all gone. Okay, we got... Okay. Quiet, I'll be right back. Please hold. Memory wisps. Known for removing memories from their home and homeowners. Report missing pictures, photo albums, and inability to remember faces of loved ones. Or it's a mirror nymph. I think it's a memory wisp. A memory wisp, I I think that's a memory wisp for sure. Memory wisp will move out of the house on their own once they have stolen away the inhabitants' memories. There is no need for further action. Good God! What? That's awful. So just tell him to sit there. 
Well, you're shit out of luck, baby. I'm sorry. You got yourself a memory whisper, baby. Good luck. Good luck. Poor man. Granny said to the man, I'm paid to work, not to care. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do they keep getting my number? Hello, HSH. You're speaking with Granny. How may I help? Uh, hi? Oh my god. Is Tyler I, uh, Oakley in this? I have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty, sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. Okay. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I thought it was going to be, do I, I need to be shot? I usually shower like <laughs> once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? Do I need to be shot? Once a week? My, my sheets have nasty shot. Please I, hold. I think this is bed cheese. Oh. Oh! <gasps> I already know. I don't even need the damn file. I don't even need the damn file. I already know. That's bed teeth right there. Already know, Tyler Oakley. You stinky twinky. Hello, HSH. You're speaking with Granny. How may I help? Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! God. Jesus. Okay, hold on. Leaving out a bowl of cream? That, I, that sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. Please hold. Is that a common hub? Hubs cannot be compelled to leave their own. One's nested. One should... Leaving out a bowl of cream or milk. It's a common hub. You're a common hub! He didn't leave out the bowl of cream so it turned into a bogart. Oh my god, you think so? Hold on. Hold, please hold. That is so scary. Bogarts is the general term for a metamorphosed hub. They are large, hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall and bear fairly convincing false faces. They are known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, and electric outages. He said he's getting electric outages. They observe their targets while they sleep? Targets? Oh my god. They're extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activities, which can often cause injury or death. They often, they also react very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Do not, under any circumstances, refer to an active bogart by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises. Provided you not, do not speak of the bogart at any time, in any fashion, it will remain in its original location. Gary, Gary, are you still there? Aha. Uh -huh. You need to move. You need... No, you need to move. Do you understand me? There's a six foot seven man hiding in your house. No, I understand, but it's causing power outages. Oh, you don't care? More fun with the lights off. Gary, there's a bug out in your home. Do with it what you will, but I would advise you to move. Okay. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, what did we get wrong? Oh! Clock again. Here we go. I love my job. I love my cozy, lazy girl job. I think we're about to get a call from... Oh. HSH, you're speaking with Granny. How may I help you? Oh, it's my supervisor. Hello! Supervisor Carol here again. <laughs> I've been watching the Closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard Thank information. You. 
Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon thee. Our eyes rest upon thee? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's ominous. Our eyes rest upon thee? I wish my past employers had said shit like that to me. I would have been like, you know what, real. <laughs> oh, HSS, you're speaking with Granny. How may I help you today? The police told me to call this number, so I, uh, hope I got the right number here. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think, I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, oh. just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. Oh, she's so me. She can't sleep? She's old? I feel this. Okay. She has a night gnome. Please hold. Night gnomes will move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by your inhabitants' sleeping activities. There is no guarantee, however, that they will become bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. <laughs> All right. All right. Night gnome. It's a good night gnome. All right, good luck, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Oh my God, I'm so busy today. HSH, you're speaking with Granny. How may I help you? Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. So please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. Be <laughs> I miss him so much. Hold on. a really good voice actor. Holy shit. Hold on. Wait, bees? Checking his messy closet for bees? Does he like bees? Oh, oh no, no concern. Oh, she's scared of the bees. Okay. So, there's a lot of things that can steal children in these files. He's always concerned about bees. Oh. Wait. You're right. The false artifact? Seemingly human-designed objects that can manifest something. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds that can only be heard by very young human children. Report out of place missing objects, missing children or pets. False artifacts, well, not a direct threat to human adults can pose significant risk to small human children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they're at risk of being encased within. Once in case no noise made by the prey can be heard, while digestion can take upwards of several years, starvation can be a more pressing concern. Oh my god! Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. HSS Pest Control Removal Services should be called to come and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the griefing program. Excuse me! Me? Are you there? Honey, you got yourself a false artifact. We'll have some guys come by and take a look, okay? Alright. Oh, you get thrown a free memory whisk for you too, baby. Goodbye. Well, shit. <laughs> um, do not come, come to the hole, for hole. There, there, hole is breached. I repeat, the hole is breached. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Oh my god. What a hairy little hole. Jeez. I can send something to your P.O. box. Oh, I dare you. I dare you. 
From HSH Corporate, employee number 036. Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. That's triggering. Oh! Hello! There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no-good teenager having joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they say these days because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic satanistic ritual crap I assume. But tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property. I'm sure she ta when she takes off that hat there's a smaller cowboy hat on underneath. Two hats! Please hold Hold on, I don't know that the tree. That doesn't sound familiar. Sprig tree. Oh, here we go. Sprig tree is a rapidly growing tree like organism that take root in a human body. <gasps> they are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. The sprig trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and will result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree while it is growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury of death. Oh god, I think that's what happened. There is no cure for a sprig tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while any others occupying the household should vacate the premise immediately. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them. Okay, that's the that's what she has for sure. You have a spring tree. Good luck. Don't touch. Don't touch. So that's where us for the grass wins. It just says you're speaking with Granny. Oh. Hey, Flipper here. I've got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. Know what I mean? What? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. We know sell dumbbells? I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing uh, spit, crud, and juice. And, uh... Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. Sage, you're speaking with Granny. How may I help you? <gasps> Hello, Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. Mm -hmm. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Carol, what did you do? Uh did Carol just kill someone? God, is it the roots? Please hold. I know what this is. Wrap themselves around. Mm -hmm. Strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Oh, wait a minute. Took her down. Mm -mm. That's too fast. That's too fast. Okay. Or it could be. The vines? Quickly? Can we cut through? Okay, those don't grab children. What the f***? Let me have a look at that false row for you, baby. Right like creatures. Okay. Oh, 
They cannot swallow anything larger than themselves. They said tendrils. Hmm. So no tendrils. We need ourselves. Get back. I mean, it could be. Oh, what about this? No, not there either. I think it may be the, um, the roots. It went down. I'm going to guess it's the floor roots, but I'm not sure. Root Paul. The pipe growth grabs children. Oh, does it really? <gasps> oh, he didn't say... It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. So, she might have put her hand into... A pipe. Maybe? Eat anything that comes inside their domain. Most commonly accidents occur when a human child attempts to reach their hand inside their home. But you're not going to pull a whole person into a pipe. Hmm. I think it's the roots. Because the vines don't say anything about... They don't say anything about grabbing people. 90% <gasps> accuracy? Are oh, we did well. Hello, High School Musical. This is Granny speaking. How may I help you? Oh, hi, Carol. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Oh my god, Carol. Permissions have been updated. Oh, we have malware. Autumn vines. So they... We have a car wall. We have a car wall. I'm shop worker in a high school musical, this is Granny speaking. Hello, Brittany. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there, because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me, what to do to get rid of this thing? Because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. Yep. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Oh! This stupid thing is probably getting loaded. That sounds like a wine spot to me, Brittany. I'll be right back to confirm. Found a bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Broken glasses and their wine. Is she, did she say she's smelling something? Oh god, it could be anything. It could be anything. Please hold. She does indie music and is popular on Tumblr. She does look, she does look familiar. Okay. Oh my god, this is all of us. Bed hag. <laughs> Me when I lie in bed for two hours? Playing Rush Royale when I should have gotten up like a year ago. Small, large eyed, winged creature, so that's the flapping. Long proboscis they used to drink. Okay. So, I think you got yourself a wine spot, baby. I think it's a wine spot. Good luck, Brittany. Good luck, Brittany. Good luck. I wish you well. I wish you well! What I've learned from this game, never become a homeowner. Nope. Don't do it. Oh. Home shopping network, you're speaking with Tara Reed. Hi. Do you know how I got here? Oh, thank you, Curly. I'm... I I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. Neighbor? I, I don't know what's what happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. Did you go through a portal? Please hold, hold on, Jill. Did you go through a neighbor doorway? 
If stepped through, the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted health activities such as altered behavior, perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. Ooh. How did I get here? They're known to cause confusion if stepped through. Neighbors' doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. Is it, is it advised to utilize home shopping networks, doorway removal services? One can prevent neighbors' doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness and not letting one's mind wander towards the wishing for alternate life paths. It could be there. There's also this one. Uh, I don't know if it's that one. I'm not sure how I got here. I'm not where I should be. My family, they aren't my family. I think they are her family, but she's in a parallel world, so they don't feel like they're her family. You think it's the mirror? We did have the mirror once already. I wonder if they do it twice. This one steals your face, but only you. They cannot recognize their own face. She's not having that trouble. There's the memory wisp as well. Removing memories from the home. Inability to remember. Because it's weird. It's, she doesn't forget her family. She's saying they are not my family. So she remembers our family, but she doesn't... Re it doesn't I, I'm pretty sure it's the neighbor one. I think. I vote the neighbor's doorway too. Okay, Jill, you have neighbor's doorway. We'll have some big men to come over and remove your door off its hinges. Good luck with the parallelogram. Boom. That eyeshadow, who the f calling me? Hello! That's hard. I think she has a clown in her walls. So... Something making a sound in the walls. Oh, Lord. I can't think of anything that makes sounds. Except for the singing plant. Do these sing? Do the crack hype sing? That sounds like a... It sounds like a New York best bestseller new york times best-selling book soon to be adapted into a film where where the crack cobs sing oh the whistling fungi holy shit you have a good memory oh i think that's it there That is, that's it. It's the whistling fungi, Coral. You better leave. If whistling fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately and do not return for any reason. Otherwise, whistling fungi can be removed with common weed killers or utilizing high school musicals, fungal removal services. To prevent a whistling fungi infestation, ensure there are no open cracks in your home. What? Good luck, Coral. That one's a throwback. That's from, like, the beginning of the game. Oh. We got another. Hello. Um, hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. Oh! I can hardly blame him. It smells so terribly it's rotten. It's a pookie! Please, can you help? 
Oh, she has a pook pookie. Please hold. She has a pookie pookie. A pooker. <gasps> Unusual frightening pet behavior. Foul smell signifies decay. I think it's a pookie. That this is one of the skit this this picture this one uh this one the bogart this one and where is the the warlock these are the most frightening pictures oh the the night gnome as well that is creepy I will shit myself. So, I think this is a puka. A poker. A poker player. Oh, there's an audio. <laughs> oh. Okay, right. So you got yourself a. Pukas can be discarded to leave. Pookas can be discouraged to leave a home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pookas thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners, so refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them, and make attempts to ignore their presence. Oh my god. Okay. Pookas! Good luck! Good luck, Rachel! Good luck! My God, a hundred percent. Oh, that was a hard level too. Congratulations. We are happy to report that we are most pleased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend. Oh, I, just, I love my job. I love my job. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for the Glamour Stone. Oh, that sounds good. Whether you simply, you're simply too tired to concentrate, or if you just want to look your best without the stress, our Glamour Stones are here to put you at ease. With our patented protective seal, our Glamour Stones have a 99.9% .9 reliability rating. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Wham Glam, thank you ma'am. I would also like everyone to note that this is the necklace that our boss wears when she calls us. That is Carol's necklace right there. I clocked it. I clocked that. Oh yes! Wait, are there, is there more? Oh shit. Wait, were there new entries? Thy trial hath begun. Oh my god. Is this the boss level? Ooh. Hello? Oh my Carol, I always knew you were a queen. Working on a Sunday, looking for that promotion girl. Please hold. We are many, we're followers of our queen. Are you bees? I think you're bees. Oh, we're, we're doing riddles now. Oh, we're doing riddles? We're doing, we're doing ri riddles now? Wait for that next call. Hello? <laughs> oh, bitch, I don't know. I'm the harbinger of death. I'm the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. I think you're a fly. I think it's a fly. I am her. Doesn't a fly? Isn't like the, isn't like the Lord of the Flies or the, what's his name? Like, Basil Bub or whatever. Isn't he like a demon fly demon? 
or something. Flies come around when things die. And then they plant maggots. Harbinger of death. Bringer of pestilence. Flies spread diseases as well. I'm a nuisance. Forever a nuisance. Like, no one has a pet fly. You could have a pet ma mouse. I think it's a house fly, y'all. I think it's the house fly. There you go. There you go. Hello, Joanne's Fabrics. We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Ooh. It could be a sprig and it could be a seedling. Please hold. Companions of the garden, we compel those who tread to tread no longer. Could they mean like your foot gets caught in like a mole hole? This one's tough. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. Fla Could it be a flower? False flower? Because they have feet. Oh my god, these riddled. The ceiling entry said it makes people hurt themselves. This prickin turns you into trees. Oh my god, you're right. They do turn you into a tree. I think we're going with seedling. Hmm. I'm really not sure. Because we already did, uh, we already did Spriggan, and Spriggan specifically says trees. Not garden. Nothing is there. Okay. Good luck. Oh, I'm almost certain we got the seedling one wrong. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not confident. Hello! Oh, I already know. I already know. I already know, but I already know, but I already know. But I already know. It's the torture. Oh, it's the don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Torture? Torture? It's the torture. It's the postal service. Torture? A rave of torture. The background didn't change, you're right. But that was. That had to be right. There was no other. Hello, Doji Cat. Oh! Hello. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. The necklace. These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. Oh my god, I'm getting promoted. Promotion in progress. Please stand by. Oh, thank you, Carol. Hey, girly. Oh! What? I'm putting the phone down for this one. Cutscene? <gasps> Carol? Oh, she's giving. Please, be not afraid. Come close. Gorgeous. Queen. Oh, wow. CEO of call center. <laughs> Promotion in 
Manager now? Oh, so I knew I just knew we could do it. I knew we could do it. I knew we could do it. Oh That was a wonderful game. I Love that game. Remember to ask yourselves the three questions. What is because of me? What is because of others and what is because you can answer those questions honestly you can get through anything in life